In this chaotic, congested city, it's easy to get lost. For some, that's why they're here. We were told we shouldn't come to this district of Sarabkot on our own. The police took us on patrol to show us they're in charge. It's the kind of place where wanted men like Taliban leader Mullah Omar have long been suspected of hiding. Ma'am, Karachi, all over Pakistan is facing the terrorism. So this Karachi is the victim of terrorist attacks in the past also. So anything can be done any, anywhere. We can't stop the suicidal attacks, we cannot stop the suicidal bombing. Unless and until we can, we have to make some uh, plans for it. And, uh, and the whole global world should come, come to us and it should help us in this way. Karachi is a rough quilt of ethnic origins and allegiances. Every neighborhood welcomes and protects its own. But people here insist that doesn't make it a safe haven. Pakistan people have uh, this uh, sentiment that somebody comes here, he is our guest, and they like to uh, serve that guest. But what if the guests are some of their leaders that they want to hide here, that they don't want them to be there arrested? May be. There may be, because it's a mega city. It's not a small city. You cannot manage, you can say, uh, uh, there are so many places here where you can hide. Most of the militant groups that operate in Pakistan are here in Karachi. After Osama bin Laden's death, most are keeping an even lower profile. Sipaha Sahaba was banned as a terrorist group years ago. It's still around, with a new name, and is said to be linked to Al-Qaeda. Its Karachi chairman agreed to see us. He denies they follow Al-Qaeda, but admires Osama bin Laden. Osama is very important. Because of his work, the whole world was against him. He came from a very rich family, not from a normal or poor background. But he chose to live in the mountains, leaving behind his luxurious life. He must have had a reason to do that. For this, he became so popular in the world. But for many here, there are more pressing problems than the death of a wanted man. In poor districts like Liari, there's electricity for half the day, running water for even less. There are no jobs. If you will not pay a single penny on this place, then how can you expect that you can achieve from here a lot of educational people or uh, the job people? If we do not have job, then you you find all over the world a place you will not find down the jobs. The crimes will grow up here. People here deal with violence of all kinds, day in, day out. That's what's on their mind. That's what they'd like to change. Lise Doucette, BBC News, Karachi.